All right, everybody, this is a 2011 Toyota Avalon. Let me fix the camera real quick, there we go. All right, we're doing the alternator on it. I wanted to do some quick uh, key points about this video if you're having difficulty doing this. Make sure you know about the bracket that bolts onto the back of the alternator. So as it sits just like this in the engine, this bracket's held in right here with a 12 millimeter bolt that's right on top of the AC compressor right there. You can see that little hole right there in the back. That's where it bolts onto. The second thing I wanted to touch base on is that a lot of people were saying you need to remove the radiator to do this. You do not need to remove the radiator. You need to remove the radiator support. There's held in by one 10 millimeter bolt right here at the bottom. You can see I kind of just got it laid up here so it's out of the way. I didn't need to disconnect any of the electronics or the, uh, the, the uh, hood pop. Uh, two 10 millimeters on each side and it lifts straight out of there, no issues. After that, with both hands, lift the radiator out of its lower um, little holes that it mounts into and push the radiator back. And then as you are removing the radiator, keep your fan shroud on to protect the back of the radiator so you don't accidentally touch it and lean the radiator back. It's a little tight, but you don't have to flush your coolant system. It'll save you a lot of time and a lot of headache. This helps you out. Leave a like, don't forget to subscribe. More tips coming your way.